Tech Brother with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to create archive folders by the month name. Um, let's say we have a main folder and inside the main folder we want to have year and uh, I'm going to create a yearly folder. So 2014, okay. Inside 2014 we want to create monthly folders. So one thing is you always uh, you know go ahead and create your folders ahead of time and then keep using it but sometime you forget about them and then your packages fail so what do you want to do you want to write a part of ssis package that should take care of that and let's say if we are going to next year 2015 so it should come back you know and create a new folder with the new year 2015 and then if it is running in january it should create a new folder for jan and then if the package is going to run in fab it will create another folder for call for fab you know and keep going on so we don't have to worry you know if we forgot about creating the folders and uh, for our archive files the package should be taken care of that automatically as we we are going to write that so let's go back to the main folder and now we are going to drop these folders for now and we are going to open SSDT or SQL Server Data Tools or Bids whatever you have according to the version of the SSIS you are using. So the very first thing is uh, uh, as uh, in the last video I have told you instead of hard coding the things we can use the variables and variables values can be provided by the configuration and uh, it is it is good idea while you are deploying your packages from one environment to another environment. So let's create a fold, uh, variable called main folder. This variable is going to hold the <clears throat> path for our main folder where we are going to create subfolders and uh, this is the path so I copied it. Okay so it's going to be string type. The value is going to be this. Uh, I can add a backslash here so I don't have to put a, uh, or add a backslash when I'm writing my expressions. So I'm going to add this one here. So, um, you know, uh, saving some time uh, while I'm writing the expressions. And now the next part is uh, I need a month name. And in SSIS, we don't have a function that can give us the month name uh, from the date itself. So we have to write some expressions to get that. So I am going to write a new variable month name and now this is also going to be a string type okay so what you have if you don't have a um, ssdt that's a sql so ssis 2014 or 2012 so what you can do uh, you can uh, you know press f4 and then go to expressions of this variable or here you have the facility to click on the button and go to expressions so I'm gonna go and click here and go to expressions so what we are doing from we have month number in uh, SSIS and we are going to drive month name from that so we are saying if month uh, let's say we month there is a month function we have it here so it is it accepts uh, the date itself so what we are going to do we are saying if get me the month from the get date function function so it is going to return us the current month of the year um, and then I'm saying if this is equal to one and I'm checking that then it's a January so I, I'm hard coding so I can write um, full name of the month or I can write small and then if it is not true then you're gonna go to the next one and keep writing it so in, instead of writing it here all the way from 1 to 12, I have uh, written the uh, expressions already. So we are going to just copy and paste. I'm going to provide these ones at the bottom of the video and in the description you can copy from there or you can visit sqla.blogspot.com and these expressions are there as well. So I'm going to paste it here. What this uh, expression is going to do, this is going to give us the month name. So currently the month name is month is December and if we will evaluate it it's going to give us December. So you can write full month names or you can use shortcuts your choice. So I'm using three um, um, character month name in my case. So we did okay. So we have main folder and we have month name 
sorry we have main folder variable and we have month name variable now so now we are creating new one new variable we can call it new folder in this one this will be the complete path of a folder by using the main uh, folder variable and month name so this is going to be string as well so let's go to expressions and here we are going to concatenate them so we are in the main folder okay that's what we want and then if you guys remember we want to add a year so every year you know if it is 2014 it will have 2014 as a main folder and then create the month name folder inside so if it go to next year it should automatically take it so we can take that year from date function uh, we have date functions here we can t get the year from here so we have to get date that data is going to give us the date and then year function is going to extract the year part of that so year is a integer you know it is going to return us integer and if we will try to evaluate now it's going to throw us error okay so what we have to do we have to cast this one even uh, yeah so if you will dt str and the year is going to be for character value so we are going to convert to a string with the four uh, character long okay so we evaluated so we created more main for we have main folder now and inside main folder we are creating year and by inside of this year we want to create a folder with the month name so let's uh, add that double slash backslash and then we are going to add month name so we have the month name variable here so let's add that and evaluate expression okay so complete expressions are your main folder your year and then you have the month part okay okay now we have everything ready to create the folder monthly folders so we need to use file system task here so bring the file system task double click and here in the operations what we are doing we are creating a new directory or new folder okay if for the folder already, ex already exists uh, we do not want to drop it or override it or anything so we want to uh, set this value to the true so if it is existing there don't do anything and the value of our path the source where uh, the source path uh, the folder path is coming from the variable so we are going to set this one as true as well and uh, we are going to go and select the variable that's holding the complete path of the folder so that's the new folder okay so click ok now go ahead and start uh, debugging and we can see that if the folder is created or not so let's go to the folder and we see the yearly folder is created now double click and we have the monthly folder created as well so when uh, you are going to run your SSIS package for the next month or any day of the month then it is going to create an, an, uh, a new folder if it is not available there so let's go back stop debugging rerun your SSIS package again and see if it fail it shouldn't be failed it shouldn't do anything because the folder is already existing there okay so the file system task ran successfully it, it went and check if the folder is already existing it is, is it is existing so it didn't drop it or anything it let it be as it is so uh, that's how you know we can create monthly archive folders where we can move our files uh, after loading uh, and this is uh, pretty much it for this uh, video you can uh, visit us at sqla.blogspot.com for more ssis post or a sql server dba post and uh, other uh, technologies and thanks very much for watching this video.